Long time ago, in the city of Kyoto in Japan, lived the Mouse King and his daughter. The Mouse King's daughter was very beautiful and extremely talented. When she was old enough to be married, the Mouse King called together all his ministers and said to them, My daughter is old enough to marry. She is no ordinary mouse, but the loveliest, the cleverest and the noblest maiden in the world. I have decided that she must be married only to the most powerful being in the world. So tell me my ministers, who shall it be? The ministers nodded their heads, shuffled their feet, waved their tails and thought very hard. Who was the most powerful being in the whole world? After a long time of thinking, a bright young mouse stood up and said, Sire, the sun is the most powerful being in the universe. The sun gives us life and light and keeps us warm. Even the Emperor of Japan wears the sun as his sign. The Mouse King nodded, Very well little mouse, I shall marry my daughter to the sun. Upon the king's reply, another mouse stood up and bowing respectfully said, Sire, a cloud can hide the sun. So the cloud must be the most powerful being in the world. That's right, I will marry her to the cloud, said the Mouse King. But, said a third mouse, hopping up and down in his excitement, the rain can burst through the clouds and wash them away. If that's the case, my daughter must marry the rain. I object, sire, said a fourth mouse, no matter how hard the rain falls, it cannot wash away the big tall trees. All right then, my daughter must marry the tallest tree. But sire, said a fifth mouse, frowning thoughtfully, a strong wind can blow down even the tallest of trees. Yes, you are right. It is done then my daughter shall marry the wind. Sire, please consider carefully, said a sixth mouse, washing his whiskers rapidly, even the strongest wind cannot blow away the earth. But, said a seventh mouse, the wooden floors of men's houses pin down the earth and keep it prisoner. Hmm, this is my decision then, my daughter must marry the wooden floor at once, declared the mouse king. All this while, the oldest mouse had sat quietly listening to what the other mouse had to say, an amused smile on his face. He cleared his throat and stepped up to the Mouse King. Sire, he said, no matter how strong the wooden floor is, a mouse can gnaw through it. The Mouse King stared at the oldest mouse in delight, you are absolutely right my trusted friend, he declared, clapping him on the back. This leaves no doubt in my mind, a mouse must be the most powerful being in the universe. And so with much ceremony and great rejoicing, the Mouse King's daughter was married to a mouse, just as the king had decided.